Why, hello there, stylish girls. This is Claire from the Style Council coming at you again with my second video blog. I know. It's exciting, right? So this week, my job is to show you my favorite outfit that I wore last week and give you some insight on the inspiration behind that. As I mentioned before in my last video, both of my parents are artists, so basically all my life I've been going to gallery openings and art conservatories and art museums, and it's just a really big part of my life. My dad even operates his own art gallery. So you guessed it, I'm showing you a photo of something I wore to my dad's gallery opening this week. my lovely assistant mannequin, I will break the outfit down for you. One really big element of my style is playing up masculine and feminine pieces, meaning mixing up girly pieces with more boyish structure pieces. And this is a great example of that exactly. The feminine part of it would come from this ruffle cardigan from Forever 21. It's pink, it has ruffles, what, you know, how much girlier can you get? Um, this inside tank top I just use as a little bit of structure with the horizontal stripes. This is uh, actually a men's hurley tank top from PacSun. So I just layered those together and then I threw on this more structured masculine blazer that I got at a thrift store. And this is vintage. It used to have shoulder pads but I took them out. So aside from the contrast of masculine and feminine going on here, there's also this contrast of really fitted pieces with, you know, more boxy stuff. So this cardigan actually cinches right here, and that brings the waist in. Something really, you know, something really feminine that shows shape. And then you have the blazer that keeps it kind of boxy and like sort of downtown chic. So. I have this on top and on the bottom, you know, it's it's winter, it's kind of cold and I wanted to keep warm but still look very fitted. So what I did is I threw on some shorts. These are just plain Sophie shorts. Um, and I, I layered these on the bottom. And then under those I had sweater tights which sort of totally saved my life in the winter because they're warm. and they're tights. Woo! Perfect. Um, these are American Apparel. So even though this outfit isn't terribly visually complicated, I still wanted to keep accessories at a minimum just so that the texture of the clothes would look kind of cool. So what I did was I just added a little bit more femininity to go with the ruffles. I added this heart bag, which is from a secondhand shop. And I added my own vintage ribbon. And then I added some boots. Now, these are very special because I also got these from a secondhand shop. My dad likes to call these my Star Trek sci fi boots because they have this really cool angled platform and they're just really awesome and sleek. Um, another option, of course, is if you were to go with, some, with something like this where you have sort of a short bottom and it's really leggy, but you, st you don't really want to wear heels, you, do you don't want to like, you know, keep it like risque or anything like that, you could also add some flat boots and it would pretty much do the same thing. These are from Baker's and I just have a thing for knee-high black boots. So that about wraps it up for this outfit. This is Claire from the Style Council, you guys, signing off.